When Street League came to Salt Lake, they actually worked with the Utah Sports Commission to leave a park behind. When I found out they were leaving this park behind, I was just like super stoked because you watch Street League, you watch these skaters skating, perfect, just immaculate courses, and you wonder what would it be like to be able to skate a course like that. And finally, I had the chance to do that. So today, I'm gonna show you some of the skating that I was able to do at that course and just talk about actually being able to skate the same course that the pros skate. So let's go ahead and cut to those clips of me skating the Street League Park in Salt Lake. My first impressions of this park were everything is a little bit gnarlier than you would imagine like watching it on TV. Especially that handrail, it starts out like kind of mellow, I guess if you're like a pro, it's like not quite a real handrail height. But then when you get to the bottom, it's like taller than a street handrail. Like that thing is like super gnarly. One thing that really surprised me a lot was the quarter pipes of this park were like super tall. Like relative to all the obstacles there, I felt like the quarter pipes were like kind of overkill. They gave you like way more speed than you needed. But I can see how from being a pro, like doing tricks where they're like really launching, like for, for example, like that bump to bar, I think it was Alex Midler who trying like back 270 nose blunt like you do need a lot of speed for that and i feel like this course definitely gives pros plenty of speed to do any like gnarly stuff like that even the quarter pipe leading into like the stairs and everything i felt like there was probably more than enough speed i would just have to say like this course is designed really really well however everything is like really smushed together and i think i saw some of the pros at street league complaining about that like it's not horrible it's obviously a really really great park but i feel like if anything was any closer at all like it wouldn't work i feel like it flows really good and everything but I feel like they jammed in as much as they could into the park without it getting like super, super out of hand. So while I was up there though, somehow I did like tweak my knee. So like I've talked about this before, how I get like patellar tendonitis and it's just from getting back into skating like all at once. And so I am gonna include more skating in this video, but first I've got to do some things to take care of my knees so that way I don't injure it more because this last week I skated a little bit, but I had to mostly rest the entire week i only skated like twice because this knee thing is a real bummer better to rest and, and get it back faster than to just make the problem worse so i'll show you guys a little bit of what i'm doing to like take care of my my injury here so the first thing is this like cheap massage gun that i got at walmart and basically i just go across my patella where it like hurts and I, i'll go like anywhere like around my knee and just look for like tender spots, like this outside part of my knee, like it, it hurts a little bit when I do this, so I know that there's something up. So just trying to increase the blood flow to help it heal faster. This thing was like 25 bucks on Amazon. If there's any companies that wanna send me like a nicer one of these, 
hit me up. Okay, so the second thing that I'm doing is, this is the worst, like, so you just like lay on it, right? And you just, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you like roll across it. <laughs> It hurts so bad. And then like the one that you do for your knees is the outside of your leg. So you like go like this. Ah. And I was like reading about this and um, apparently there's just like a ton of nerve endings ah, in the side of your leg like this. So it literally hurts really bad every single time. It's not like damaging anything. Like it's not hurting your nerve endings, but it literally will hurt like hell every single time. These are called floss bands. I made a video about these. I'll link these in the description below. But basically, you wrap one around the bottom of your knee, one around the top of your knee, and then you do squats. And basically, it pulls your knee tight so that when you bend it, it like stretches out the whole front of your knee. And it helps like compress it so that your tendons and whatnot can break down any scar tissue. And it it's kind of like weird to think about like flossing your knee, but that's literally what it does. It like breaks down what doesn't need to be there and helps stretch out your knee so that you're not like pulling anything and it increases mobility, so. Okay, so me and Bud are going on a run now. Hey, Bubba, say what up to the camera. But um, we're gonna go on a backwards run. So basically everything that you're seeing is precautions that I take so that I can be able to like skate as much as I want um, just because when skating is your job, like I'm not like a pro, but like I'm trying to make this my job, you know? Getting hurt is kind of a bigger deal because how am I supposed to make videos and grow my channel if I'm injured? These are all the precautions that I take to make sure that if I get hurt, that I can recover as quickly as possible and get back to skating at full strength as soon as possible, so. Hopefully my knee will hold up for the whole skate session and we'll continue getting that strength built up till we can skate at 100%. So hopefully that wasn't too boring for you. Let's head to the skate park. Okay, just got to the skate park. Nobody's here. It's always a good time when you got the whole place to yourself. Now it's just time to test out the knee. Again, I'm not trying to like go crazy today. I'm really just trying to, after all the work that I put in this morning to like rehab my knee and make sure everything's feeling good. I'm not trying to like tweak it or anything. So I'm just gonna skate around, cruise around, get a feel for my board and my knee, how it's doing. And then maybe if it's feeling good, we'll actually try some uh, stuff and maybe try and learn something. So that's the vibe today. Stoked to be here. It's a beautiful day.
me forever the 50 50 the board slide i just having such a hard time with this angle because you have to board slide right here and then cross over to get the board slide but not fall over onto the other side of the rail like your weight wants to go across and you have to like counterbalance it i almost gave up on that like three times i was like is this really worth it because i don't know how it looked in the footage but probably like wasn't that cool but stuck it out I'm super glad I did all that rehab this morning, the massaging, then the rolling, the floss bands, and then the backwards running because I haven't had any knee pain this entire time. I've been taking it pretty easy because again, like I said before, I do not want to make my injury any worse, but I, yeah, I'm really happy that I've been able to skate as much as I have without any knee pain. It still doesn't feel like, it, it feels like it's holding together just fine, but it doesn't feel quite as strong as it normally does so I'm taking it easy but I think if I keep up that same routine of massaging flossing rolling it out and then going for a backwards run I think within like a week or two my knee should be back to full strength so before the session is over I, I do want to like learn a couple tricks so the first trick is just gonna be a switch 180 over the hip switch front 180 I don't skate a lot of switch, but that's one trick that I feel like semi comfortable with. So I'm pretty sure I can manage to do that over the hip. That would be one NBD for me. And then the second trick is probably the grossest trick that I can think of. Let me know if you disagree with this, but I'm gonna do a 50-50 kickflip out. I've never done it. I know I probably can, but I just think it's the stupidest looking trick. But it's like, if I'm gonna talk smack on a trick though, I better be able to do the trick. So. Those are the two NBDs I'm going for, and then I think we'll call it a session. All right, check one off the list. Still couldn't make it look good, but good enough for today. With how my knees are feeling and everything, I'll take it. All right, now for the ugly one. 50-50 kickflip, let's get it. All right guys, well that was a good session. 50-50 kickflip out, overrated trick, just kidding. It took me longer to learn than I thought it would. I mean, I almost got it like first try and then I kept on like losing my balance because you kind of have to like shuffle your feet in the middle of the 50-50, which is kind of weird. But all in all, it's not, not that hard of a trick and I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it again. Like, I don't feel like I have this trick as well as I want, but at the same time, I kind of despise this trick and think, think it looks like horrible. But just for like my own pride, I'm sure I'll like do it again, maybe on like a taller ledge or going faster or something. But I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you think. If you think that is an ugly looking trick or if it's just me, but yeah, I just really do not like the look of that trick. But the Switch Front 180 was all right. Didn't really pop it that high, but that's one I definitely think I, I want to do more of because it sets me up regular for the quarter pipe, which means I can do like front disaster, back disaster tricks that I've just barely started learning on the quarter pipe, which is sick. So yeah, just more options for like linking up lines, which I am stoked on. And I learned two tricks with a hurt knee that wasn't really hurting, thank goodness, after all everything that we did. So I'm gonna leave links to like everything that I used for my rehab this morning that I'll, I'll link a foam roller I'll link the floss bands and I'll link uh, a massager yeah and if you're having knee problems like obviously I'm not a doctor but this is how I go about solving it along with you know just like rest and being like intuitive knowing like when to push it and when to lay off I think that's like just as big as like knowing how to treat it is knowing you know how how to push your body to get stronger rather than weaker but okay guys well i think i'm gonna call it right there thank you so much for watching this video again let me know if these vlog style videos are too boring for you 
if I'm getting like too personal with it or if I should stick to just like talking about like skating but I feel like everything that I sh want to show in these like vlogs has to do in one way or another with my skating anyways hopefully I'm not oversharing just let me know all right guys make every single day a Friday and I'll catch you in the next video hopefully tomorrow peace <laughs>